be going over the double row with dumbbells. So with this double row, we are working into the upper back. So you will feel this into the rear delts, the rhomboids, maybe even a little bit down into the lat. And so with this exercise, we're really focusing on a good healthy squeeze keeping that stability in the legs and the core so that we don't have any back pain when we do this. And again, keeping that squeeze into the upper back while rowing. So I'm gonna get into this exercise, show you guys a few reps, and then we'll break it down. So taking a step through here, this is what the row is going to look like. I'm just going to drop this weight down in front here. So our setup for the row and how to get into this uh, position. I want the feet to be shoulder width apart, toes point slightly outward and towards these dumbbells. Notice the dumbbells are in a V shape um, with the V facing me. So this actually makes it easier for me to pick them up. So when I do pick up these dumbbells, I can stay in this Romanian deadlift squat form and lift with my legs rather than my back. So again, I'll show you that lift just from the side. Perfect. We're in this really good healthy stance. I've got good posture, a straight spine, my pelvis is stacked. From here, the feet are gonna be again shoulder width apart, toes pointing forward, and then you're just gonna hinge at the hips. So keep that weight onto the glutes and the hamstrings Hands fall out in front, squeeze the shoulders up and back, and then pull those elbows back into the body, hands come outside the hips. Now, with my exercise techniques, I also like to teach a breathing technique, so you know when you should be inhaling and when you should be exhaling during this exercise. So getting into that position, hinging at the hips here slightly. As you pull up the dumbbells, you're gonna exhale through the nose. As you drop them, you're gonna inhale. So, in adding this breath work, this inhale and this exhalation with your contractions, this actually helps to give more control and flow into the exercise. And then it'll actually make it easier for you to add low, load, provide more power into that pull or that push or whatever exercise you're doing. And just give you more of that control and that stability with the movement. Um, and especially into the core. So give this a try. Let me know if you have questions because I love talking about this stuff and I'd love to help you. And, and yeah, good luck, happy rowing.